I'm Sacred Prophet, and today we're going to talk about GameStop. I mean, of course. Of course. How can we not talk about GameStop? This is incredible. What is going on, folks? I don't know what you crazy bastards are doing, but you guys figured out that there's a, there's a loophole in the system that allows you to print money and you're cranking it out. GameStop went from $2.57 just a few months ago to now, what is it at? What is it at? $300, it hit $385 today. That's insane. That's like, that's like more than a few percentage gains on GameStop, you guys are crazy. Never underestimate what a concerted group of people can do, right? Look, I gotta say, when I saw the share price get above uh, $50, $100, I said, look, there's no way this can continue. But you guys proved me wrong. A couple of days you guys proved me wrong. So I'm here with just a cautionary note for two types of people. Either you're in the stock already or you're thinking about getting in. Now, if you're already up, you're making some money, for goodness sakes, take some of your gains, book your gains off of this, right? Take the money you invested off the table and let the other ones ride to the moon if you want to, if you think that's a good idea. But if you're thinking about getting in, if you're thinking about getting in right now, yeah, you're right. It might go to 500, it might go to 1,000, but it might go back to $2.57, right? So you don't want to be the guy there who you're giving your money away. Right? Because this money that people are making, right? Some of it is coming from Wall Street, but some of it is coming from you, right? Some of it is coming from people who bought it at a high price. Don't let that person be you. So make sure that whatever money you put in is money that you can afford to lose. I've seen some of these people put fifty thousand dollars in of their money. They're like, I've I've maxed out my my credit cards. I've borrowed money from my grandparents. I took all the money, all my rent money, everything I put in on here. I'm going to pay off my student loans. Look, I wish you all the best. But that's a terrible idea. That's not the secret profit way, right? Value, transparency, and reputation. You know the words. Okay, look. I'm ranting here. Do I have a little bit of FOMO because I wasn't in the trade? Of course. <laughs> of course. But I'm on the Reddit threads every day trying to tell these people, hey, be careful. Be careful what you're doing. And that's what this video is for. I mean, I trade posting, but there's like 2.3 million people who are part of this thread. So as soon as I post a message uh, as a cautionary note, it's gone in two seconds. So that's what this video is about, folks. I'm, I'm trying to save you some money if you can. Don't be one of those people holding banks at the end. Okay. You want to beef up your knowledge on financial literacy? I'm going to give you a tip right now. If you haven't heard this platform before, you got to go right now, realvision.com. Realvision.com provides the best financial information I have ever seen for like uh, little to no money, right? You, you got to go over there and check out videos about options and about short squeezes and about volatility because if you only heard those words today and you're planning on putting all your money into GameStop, I mean, take an hour or two to go figure this stuff out. So I'm going to put some videos inside of the, uh, the description below so you go check it out. But I want you to be educated so that you have some idea of what you're doing. I mean... <laughs> I hope people have bought puts for their positions, right? In order to protect themselves when the stock inevitably becomes down. But I hope they didn't write puts. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a bunch of people who wrote puts and at the end of this, when they think they're protected, actually owe $500,000? Oh my God, what a nightmare. I don't want that to happen to you. So that's, uh, that's my cautionary note. I'll make another video when uh, GameStop gets to $500 per share, which I'm sure I'm sure will happen by the end of the day. <laughs> Thanks for watching.